fellow a la shmup, sex lies in that pesky handkerchief. We all know that jealousy can be a problem, especially when it makes us lose control. Not my new bike. Our hero Othello sure knows something about losing control. Ah! When his buddy Iago starts spreading nasty rumors about Othello's wife Desdemona, he goes a little nuts, and the poor girl doesn't have a chance. But why would Iago do such a thing? Why would he go to so much trouble to bring Othello down? Maybe he's just a racist, angry about a black man's success. He does refer to him as a black ram and the devil when talking to Desdemona's father. No doubt a black man in a position of power would have gotten more than a few people riled up in those days. Speaking of hatred, Iago makes his feelings for Othello pretty clear from page one. Right from the beginning, Iago complains about being passed up for a promotion. So was he ticked off enough about Othello giving his job to Cassio that he would actually destroy poor Cassio's life? Serial killer! Could be, but some people think Iago's lust wasn't just job related. That he orchestrated Desdemona's death so he could have Othello for himself. After all, Iago tells Othello in Act 3, and we quote, I am your own forever. Sounds like more than a dedicated employee to us. Could all that tragedy have sprung from a simple case of unrequited love? Possibly, but Shakespeare's hints about Iago's motivation may have left out one other possibility. Maybe he's just a really, really, really bad guy. A guy who loves stirring things up more than anything. A complete sociopath who delights in others' misery and gets pleasure from being the smartest person in the room. From his comments to the audience, it's clear that Iago enjoys controlling every situation even if we're never really sure why he's doing it. So what was behind Iago's master plan of destruction? And why did Shakespeare leave it for us to figure out? Maybe I'm the bad guy. Shmup amongst yourselves.